Hi everybody, welcome to Euro Channel. Sometimes I just feel I have to do something educational on YouTube, something of real value to my viewers. There are some health conditions in the urological field that are really, really dangerous. They can happen to everybody and if you know about them, you may save yourself from unhappiness for the rest of your life or become a hero to others. My name is Stefan Buntrock, I'm a urologist. Many people don't know that there are emergencies in urology too, when every minute counts and something has to be done right away. What I'm about to tell you can happen to everyone and in my experience this is a problem, because this is something that catches people off guard. If you don't know about the dangers involved, you might want to wait in the beginning, maybe it'll get better, which is the wrong strategy. So here are some urological conditions you absolutely should be aware of. Please keep in mind, this is a video, not a medical consultation. If you experience any health problems, especially anything similar to what I'm going to tell you in this video, don't write a comment, call your local urologist. Number one happens to boys and is called testicular torsion. For no obvious reason at all, like during sleep or after sports, testicles might rotate around their axis. This pretty much only happens in children, not in adults. Usually only one testicle is affected at a time. The rotation deprives the testicle of its blood supply, which is a bad thing, because the organ will die within hours if this is not fixed right away. Usually a small operation is needed to counter-rotate the testicle and attach it to the inside of the scrotum so that it won't happen again. A sudden onset with pain, swelling and discoloration of the scrotum are important signs to look out for. Generally, any swelling in the scrotal area should be examined by a urologist. There are other conditions which can cause this like infections, hernias, fluid accumulation, cancer and so on. I don't want to confuse you here, so bottom line is child, pain, swelling, go to the doctor right away, don't wait until the next day. Number two is acute urinary retention, a very common urological emergency. It means that you can't pass urine. Despite common belief, this not only happens to older guys, but can also be seen in young women occasionally. The underlying reasons are very different, but the result is the same, a full bladder. In this situation, you will need some form of catheter to empty the bladder. Acute urinary retention is very painful and it typically develops in a combination of socializing, lots of fluids, some alcohol and not going to the bathroom in a timely fashion because an exciting conversation is going on. The bladder normally holds up to around 600 milliliters, which is 20 ounces. It can do more, but the extreme distension might cause a permanent loss of the organ's elasticity. In other words, the bladder might be damaged for life. Therefore, if you suddenly can't take a pee anymore, hurry up, this is an emergency. Number three is penile fracture. Well, the penis has no bone, so it can't break, so to speak, but the cavernous bodies are covered with a very rigid fascia layer, the tunica albuginea, and this layer can just crack. This usually happens during sexual intercourse with the erect penis dislocating and smashing against the partner. Usually a popping sound can be heard, followed by an immediate loss of erection and formation of a hematoma. This too is a urological emergency that has to be attended to right away. Don't wait until the next morning. Number four is priapism. In short, a permanent erection without any apparent reason at all. One day I will do a video on its own about priapism. It is an emergency because penile function is threatened if left untreated. So if this happens to you, get concerned, not excited and go to the hospital. Permanent erections may also be a result of overdosing injection therapy for erectile dysfunction. Also this is a case for immediate treatment. Now my last urological emergency for this video is not very common, yet I have seen it a couple of times during my career. It is a bacterial infection of the genital skin. Urinary tract infections or genital piercings can cause this among others. Associated conditions are obesity and diabetes. Fournier's gangrene is life-threatening and the speed of deterioration is breathtaking. As a young doctor, I have witnessed one case in the OR where the infection spread faster than a bushfire in California. They nearly couldn't cut away the infected skin as fast as new areas became infected.
So nasty looking, foul smelling skin in the genital area could be a urological emergency, especially if this is developing more or less overnight. Thanks for watching. Bye bye.